Okay, start recording and it is recording. Okay, hi everyone. Can you guys hear me okay, hopefully? And I am in the right position going this way. You can see me hopefully. And let me get a little bit more centered. There we go. So um if you need to get a pillow or a bolster, a block or a belt or a blanket to make your chair a little bit more cushy, uh, go ahead and do that. And we'll get started in just a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm not expecting any other people, so uh, we can get started right at two o'clock. But if you need to get anything, anything to drink or anything like that, just let me grab that and we will get started. Um, just make sure you are comfy with your chair. I'm gonna try a couple of different things uh, in our standing warrior series. We'll be moving the chair around, so just to warn you on that. And um, I think we should be getting started. So getting into your chair. You might want to scoot back for just a few minutes here and either have your hands down on your thighs or palms up or just folded nicely in your lap. And, um, and just gently close your eyes if you'd like or if you have a light or a candle in the room, just softly gaze at that. And just coming into your breath, just breathing in and out, just gently, just a normal breath. Just relaxing, softening the space between your eyebrows. Softening your eyes, your nose, your cheeks. Maybe just opening your lips just slightly and just moving your jaw from side to side. Maybe even taking your index fingers and your middle finger right on your jawbone and just giving yourself a nice little massage right there. Just rotating. Just relax in that jawbone, those areas. And as you're settling in, uh, just a reminder, you are your best teacher. So if you have any problems um, during any of the poses, anything is sharp, numbing, um, tingly, doesn't quite feel just right. That's quite all right. That's normal. Just back out of the pose until you feel comfortable. So anytime you feel uncomfortable, certainly you do not have to do everything that I'm saying. I'm just here to guide you through your practice and give you some options. I try to give options for several of the poses. So, uh, We'll go over those as we get more into the practice. But uh, if you're feeling like you are uncomfortable in anything and you want to just come back to your chair and just sit, that's perfectly fine. Uh, everybody is blocked out, so uh, I can't see you and other people can't see you. So this is your practice and just listen to my voice and see me in the camera as we go forward. Okay, so as you're finding your breath, just take a long, slow, deep breath in through your nose or through your mouth. And then on your exhale, just open your mouth slightly and just breath coming out of your mouth. And breathing in through your nose. On your exhale, just open your mouth just slightly and breathe out. 
Another breath through your nose. Opening your mouth slightly and letting everything out. Again, just softening your throat, your shoulders, your chest, your heart, your stomach, your hips, thighs, knees, shins, ankles, and toes. And if you have your eyes closed, just fluttering your eyes open. And starting with your right hand, bringing that forward, arm parallel to the floor, and then extending your fingers out wide, just giving a nice big hand stretch. Taking your index finger and your thumb and just gently taking your pinky finger and gently bringing that back towards you in a gentle stretch. Releasing the pinky finger going to your ring finger. Gentle stretch. Releasing and going to your middle finger. Nice little stretch here. Releasing. Index finger. Just gently bring that back. Then laying the tops of your hands next to each other, grabbing that thumb in with your index finger and your left thumb, and just gently bringing it back. And then releasing that hand and then just doing some little wrist rotations and reverse the circle. Pointing your fingers of your right hand down to the floor, cupping them with your left hand and just gently bringing them back towards you. You want to increase that stretch, just bring that thumb back together with the hands might give you a little different sensation. Then pointing your fingers up, taking that left hand and again, just bringing those fingers back towards you, just gently. And then just releasing those fingers and then just do some little rotations. And when you're ready, just extending your left hand, bringing your right index finger and thumb up and just gently pressing that left pinky finger. Releasing your ring finger, gently bring it back. Releasing the ring finger, coming to your middle finger, just bringing that back. Releasing the middle finger, coming to your index finger, bringing it back, then laying your hands on top of each other, the tops of your hands, bringing your right index finger and thumb around your left thumb and just gently pulling that thumb back. Releasing that thumb and then just rotating that left wrist and then reverse the circles with your wrist. Pointing the left fingers down Cupping with your right hand, gently bring those fingers back towards you. Releasing them and then pointing the fingers up. Cupping the right hand around those fingers. Just noticing how you feel. And then releasing the fingers and then again rotating in little circles. back and forth. Then coming to the front of your chair, right on the edge of your chair, feet flat on the floor, or if you're using a pillow or a blanket, and putting your hands on your thighs, we're gonna lean forward, we're gonna come around to the right, and then just move in a big circle, just big hip circles, loosening up that lower back. Go very, very slow. Just noticing how that lower back feels. You might have a few little crunches or crackles, or you may not. 
and then reverse the circle. Just warming that body up. And then coming back to your neutral position. Now you may want to stay on the edge of your chair or you may want to come a little bit further back. We're going to extend the arms out wide. Arms are parallel, fingers are spread wide. And then open your palms towards your screen or whatever you're looking towards. And then just come forward with your hands, big circles, rotating through your shoulders, squeezing the shoulders as you come back and opening your heart. And let's bring the hands into a little bit tighter circle. And as you're coming in tighter, hands are moving a little bit faster and faster. And then slowly opening up those circles, making them bigger again, coming all the way out. Just noticing it, all those muscles in your shoulders, just feeling all the little areas, just starting to open up. And then letting your arms go to the side and sort of shake out. Shake your hands, move your shoulders up and down. And then let's do some shoulder rolls. Let's go forward first, bringing your shoulders forward, spreading your back open a little bit more in the back and then reversing the circles opening up your heart your chest keeping your chin parallel to the floor and then when you're ready bringing your arms up into cactus arms just Extending your fingers out, spreading them wide. Elbows are out to the side, and then just pressing back into your shoulder blades. You should be feeling more in the upper back. And then on your next inhale, bringing your hands down to your side and squeezing your elbows in and squeezing that lower shoulder blade area. Just breathing in and breathing out. Then interlacing your fingers and bringing your hands forward with your palms away from your face. And as you're bending forward, just bring your navel in to, towards your spine, arching your back, Maybe lowering your head just a little bit, looking at the floor. And then on your next inhale, bringing your hands slowly up over your head. upper arms, beside your ears, maybe if you can, a little bit behind your ears. This may be possible, it may not. And then on the next exhale, bringing your arms in front of you, arching your back. On your next inhale, bringing your arms up overhead. And then on your next exhale, bringing your arms down, undoing your fingers. You might want to do a couple of little circles here with your wrists. Opening and closing your hands. And then coming back into your chair, you might want to sit a little bit 
further back. We're gonna do some neck circles here. Just opening just your neck. So bring your chin to your chest. Take a nice deep inhale. And on the exhale, slowly bringing your chin look up, looking over your right shoulder. And then on your next exhale, bringing your chin all the way across to your left shoulder, gazing over your left shoulder. On your next inhale, coming across your shoulder to your right shoulder. And then exhale, inhale, bringing chin across. And if you feel okay with your neck, you can come around in a big circle, just slowly moving your head around in a big circle. Now, if this is not okay with your neck, then just keep the pendulum going in front and then just reverse your circle or your pendulum. And then coming back to center, raising your chin up. And then coming back to the edge of your chair, I'm gonna do, we were doing some uh, stretches similar to cat and cow before, but now let's just put our hands gently on our thighs. And as we inhale, we're gonna look forward and bring our chest forward into our cow. And then as you exhale, pushing back, arching your back, curving your spine into your angry cat. So breathing in, looking forward. Exhale, coming back. And do a few of these just on your own. Again, we're warming up the lower back, the upper shoulders. Coming back to center, placing your hands back on your thighs, and we are going to do uh, some rib circles. So you're going to come forward with your ribs, just your ribs, and then you're going to go to the right, you're going to go to the back, and to the left. Just gentle, slow movements, front, right, back, left, front, right, back, left. Just isolating the rib cage. We'll do one more to the center and then reverse your circle with the ribs. And when you're ready, coming back to center. And sitting on your chair, feet on the floor, taking your left hand on your right thigh, and then bringing your right arm around behind you. Your feet and your hips are facing forward. And if you can, reach around the back of your chair with your right hand. Now you can just look over to the right. Or if you want to increase the twist, just continue looking over your right shoulder. Try to have the twist in your upper body and your upper shoulders, not with your lower back. On your next exhale, release your arms, coming back to center. Taking a nice breath here. Then reaching with your right hand on your left thigh, and then coming around with your left arm around the back of the chair, twisting with your shoulders. You can just gaze to the left or continue your gaze over your left shoulder. All 
always remembering that the breath is centering. You find your mind wandering, just come back to your breath. On your next exhale, releasing the back of the chair and coming to the front area. And just taking a few soft breaths here. Then reaching with your right hand, it's like you're tapping yourself on your shoulder or on your back. And then just taking your left index finger and middle finger and gently pressing right underneath your elbow. Again, a nice tricep shoulder stretch. Just notice how the muscles feel. On your next exhale, releasing that arm and then just bringing the right arm across your body and then hooking that with your left elbow, sort of the crook of your elbow, just is bringing in that stretch a little stronger. On your next exhale, releasing your arms, taking your left arm and bringing it up, tapping yourself on the back. Bring your index finger and your middle finger and just gently press right underneath your elbow. On your next exhale, releasing your arm, bringing the left arm across your body Hooking your right elbow around your left arm and just bringing that into a nice cross body stretch. On your next exhale, just releasing your arms, coming back to center and coming up to the edge of the chair, just finding a real solid ground. We're gonna be doing a chair exercise, a chair pose, but it's going to be a little different than what we were doing before. We're gonna actually be coming up and down out of the chair. So make sure that your chair is real solid and it's not gonna be moving around. So what we're gonna do first is we're just going to press our hands onto our thighs and stand up out of the chair. And then we're gonna bring our hands up over palms together. And then bring your hands down and then coming back into the chair. You might wanna make sure reaching back that your chair is there. Don't want anybody falling. So here we come up, we're gonna come up again, up out of the chair. And then we're going to come down. We're going to come up, breathe in, and as you exhale, coming back into the chair. And breathing in, and then coming back into the chair. Now, if you want to try just touching, so you're breathing in, and then just coming back and touching the chair. Ooh. I can't do that. Okay. Coming up. And then coming down and touching the chair. And coming up. And coming down. Coming up. And coming down. Okay, coming all the way down into the chair. Just doing a few arm openings. We don't have to come up and down on the chair. Bringing your hands down to heart center. Hands up over, touching palms. Hands to heart center. Opening up, big deep inhale. Hands together to heart center. 
then just take a few breaths here, bringing your hands down. Now, body should be heated up a little bit. So we're gonna go into part of our warrior series. Um, you're gonna come to the side of the chair here. You're gonna have one cheek off and one cheek on. You're pointing to the right. Your right foot is forward and your left foot, which is off the chair just slightly, will be coming in back of you. You can be up on the ball of your foot and you can just stay right here Hips are square, looking forward, shoulders square, looking forward. You can just stay right here with your hand on the chair. You can put your left hand up. If you feel strong, you can put your right hand up into our Warrior One chair. And just hold it here for a couple of breaths. Breathing in and out, center, centering yourself. Arms, try to have your arms beside your ears, but yet your shoulders should be relaxed down your back. And when you're ready, just bringing the arms down, bringing that left foot forward, and then coming around, spinning to center. Take a couple of breaths here. And then when you're ready, coming to the other side of the chair, one cheek on, one cheek off, that right leg, the one that's off the chair, is coming back behind you. Left leg is forward, knee is over ankle. Again, you can just hold to the back of the chair, hand on thigh, and you're perfectly fine. You want to raise your right arm up. Keep holding the chair, you can do that. Or you can do both arms over your head. Now your hands can be straight up, fingers open, or you can come into a mudra, clasping your hands together, index fingers pointing, thumbs wrapped. Few breaths here. Releasing your hands if your hands work together. Bringing hands down, bringing that left leg forward, and then turning yourself around to the front of the chair. Now we're going to be coming up to our standing poses, our warrior series. I'm gonna have my chair sideways so you can see what I'm doing, but if you wanna keep it just like this, that's fine too. So our chair, what you're going to first do is have your bottom arm's length from the back of the chair and just stand with your hands at your side in your mountain pose, feeling all four corners of both feet, hands are forward, and just foundation pose here. And then when you're ready, reaching forward for your chair. Now you may have to step back. And you want to be at like a 90 degree angle. This is your standing down dog. So you can have your head below your arms. Knees you can have just a slight bend. And then on your next exhale, you are going to bring your right foot forward. Going to move that left heel back so your legs, your heels, and your feet are perpendicular to each other. You're extending this right hand out and you're extending the left hand out. Now, if this is not comfortable for you, you can certainly hold on to the chair. But if you want to extend out, that's perfectly fine. Whatever you feel your balance is, this is your warrior two. Okay. 
Now coming into our side angle, you can come right onto the chair and bring your left arm over the top. If you feel strong today and you want to come down to your thigh with your right arm, you can do that with your left arm over. You can look straight ahead. You can look up at your thumb or you can look down at the floor, giving you options. If you're using a chair, just like if you were in a full standing pose, making sure your knee is over your foot, knee is tending towards the outside, towards your pinky toe. On your next exhale, bringing that left hand back down your left leg and then coming up with your right arm over the top like you're holding a ball into your sun warrior. Now, if you want to just hold on to the chair and just have your left hand down, that's perfectly fine. And then coming up, straightening that right leg, coming into your triangle pose. Now you can hold onto the chair and then just bring that left arm and left hand right over the top and stay right here. Or if you want to scoot back a little bit, you can come into your triangle pose, whether you're on your shin your ankle, the floor, or your block. But if you're using your chair, you're perfectly fine. And then when you're ready, bringing that left hand down to the chair, stepping that right foot back, and coming into your standing down dog. Just releasing that head through the shoulders. And then coming up with your left foot forward. I'm going to turn my chair around. So I'm pointing towards you. But left foot forward, right foot back, heels are perpendicular. And then you can hold on with your left hand to the chair and extend your right hand out. Or you can hold both out, extend both out, and then coming in, bending at the knee, coming into your warrior two making sure your knee is over your foot. Arms extended are parallel to the floor. And then side angle, bringing your left arm either to the chair or to your thigh. If you are doing it on your thigh, you might have to come back a little bit. I'll stay on the chair to demonstrate. And then you're shooting your right arm up over Nice, extended angle with your arm all the way down to your right foot. Again, you can look forward, you can look up, or you can look down. On your next exhale, bringing that right hand down to the back leg. And then you can hold on to your chair. This is our sun warrior with the hand, hand on the chair, or you can bring that left hand up over the top, holding your ball. And then straightening that right leg, and then coming forward into your triangle pose. Again, you can hold on to the chair, and then just have your right arm extended up, or you can come down to your shin, your foot, or your block. 
Remember your breath, breathing in, breathing out. On your next exhale, releasing out, bringing that right foot to meet your left, and then stepping back. This time, you can just rest your arms on the chair. This will be just like a forward fold, bending at the waist. On your next exhale, coming back up. I'm going to bring my chair around. We're going to be doing our balancing poses. I'm on the right side of my chair, but you can be on the right or the left. It doesn't matter. And we're going to start with our tree pose. So your left foot or the foot closest to the chair. Make sure all four corners are on the floor. Very solid. Slight bend in the knee. Now you can have your tripod tree pose with your toes on the floor, heel up against your ankle. You can use your calf, you can come up to your thigh, or you can do your lotus. I'm going to give you options, whatever is comfortable for you today. You can keep your hand right on the chair and then just keep your hand on your waist, your right hand on your waist, your left hand on your chair, or you can bring your right hand up, or if you feel strong, I don't know if I feel strong today, but you can bring your left hand up. And then on your next exhale, just releasing everything down, shaking out that left foot. And then next, just raising your knee up, foot is flexed, You can hold underneath your right thigh, or you can hold your, your shin. If you feel real strong, you can bring your right hand up, and you can bring your left hand up. Just remember to breathe. On your next exhale, bringing that right foot down, bringing your arms down at your side, rotating that left foot. And then what we're going to do here is just our dancer pose. Now, if you want to use your strap, you would wrap it around your right ankle, or you can just grab your right foot and then just bend your knee and Bring, it's like you're bringing your heel to your, your glute. And again, you can hold on to the chair, or you can just let go. Make sure you're looking at something that's not moving. And on your next exhale, just release it back down. Okay, we're going to come back, we're going to come back to this side this time. I'm going to walk away. And we're going to do our tree or balancing pose on the left side of the chair. So your right foot or the foot closest to the chair is your uh, balancing leg. And then you can either do your tripod or your calf or your thigh or your lotus, whatever your tree pose is. You feel real strong. Put your left hand over your head and your right hand. 
Make sure you're breathing through this. Always breathing. On your next exhale, bringing your hands and your foot down to the floor, rotating out that right leg. Then we're gonna do our knee balance. So right foot, make sure you're steady on your right foot. Knee is slightly bent. You can bring your left leg up and you can hold under your left thigh, right under your knee. Or maybe you just put your left arm over your head, right arm over your head. Shaking is good. And on your next exhale, bringing your hands down and left foot down, rotating that around. Then our mini dancers balancing, bringing your left foot up, Heel into your glute. If you need your strap, put it around your ankle or you grab your ankle or your foot with your left hand. Try not to lock your knee. Remember to have a slight bend in your knee. And then you can release the chair. And on your next exhale, bringing your hands down, your foot down, rotating that right leg. We're gonna come back to our chair, centering yourself. Let's do a few mini sun salutations. Just take a nice deep breath in, palms together, hands to heart center. Another deep breath in. On your exhale, hands to heart center. One last breath in. Hands to heart center on the exhale. So we're gonna do a seated side twist. So before we were facing forward, this, you're gonna to turn to the right. You're gonna be on the right side of your chair. You're gonna bring your left hand and your right hand on the back of the chair. And then you're going to continue your gaze over your left shoulder. Take a nice breathe, deep inhale. And on the exhale, turn your head back over your left shoulder. And then inhale, looking over your right shoulder. Exhale, coming back, looking over your left shoulder. Inhale to the right. Exhale to the left. And then when you're ready, on your next exhale, come to the center of the chair. Couple of breaths here. And then swinging your hips around, coming over to the left side of the chair. Right arm comes over to the back of the chair and left arm comes over, hand comes over to the back of the chair. Continuing your gaze over your right shoulder, I'm sorry, your left shoulder. And then coming around, exhale to your right shoulder. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. And then just continue around to the center. Take another couple of deep breaths. And then coming into our seated pigeon pose, 
Now, if you want to use your block or a bolster or a pillow underneath your foot, you would, let's start with your left foot is underneath or on top of, I'm sorry, on top of your block. You might, it might be easier to come to the edge of your chair and then you're bringing your right ankle up over your left thigh. Now, if this is too much, you can just keep your block on end and maybe put your foot right on top of the block like this. So that way you still have the hip opening, but it's not quite as intense. So if you're using underneath your left foot, your block or your pillow, and your right ankle is over your left thigh, you can stay right like this. If you want to have a little bit further hip opener, you come a little bit more on the edge of your chair, and you can place your right arm on your right leg, and then as you lean forward, push just gently down onto your leg, opening that hip a little bit more. You're not quite feeling steady, you can reach your left hand to the back of the chair and holding on to the back of the chair. Taking some nice long deep breaths. This can be quite intense. If you feel uncomfortable, you can always undo it. On your next exhale, coming out of the pose, bringing that right foot down to the floor, maybe wiggling that right foot around a little bit. And then bringing your block or your pillow over to your right foot and trying to duplicate what you did on the other side. Now one side may be a little bit different than the other. Um, maybe your left hip is not quite as open as your right. So just make sure that you uh, are very mindful of that. So I'm going to bring my left ankle, put it on my right thigh. I can bend my left arm onto my left leg. And as I hinge forward, just pressing down just gently. You can grab with your right hand the back of the chair. As you bend forward, just remember to breathe. On your next exhale, releasing out of the pigeon pose, bringing that left foot down to the floor. Moving your block or your pillow if you need to, and then just rotating that hip out a little bit. Now, with both feet solid on the floor, we're coming into it's going to be like a half straddle or shoelace, or when we're on the mat, it's a little bit different um, than what we're going to do in the chair, but it's going to look back the same muscle area. So what you're going to do is you're going to extend, and I hope you can see this, your right foot out, and that heel is coming down to the floor, and you are flexing your toes back. And your right leg is, is straight. You're keeping your left leg bent, left foot is flat on the floor, and you can just stay right like this. Or you could come down with both hands on your left thigh, or you can reach with your right hand down to your right toes, or if you want to bring down your left hand and have both hands on to your toes. Bending at the waist, Make sure you're solid in this position. Don't want to slide out the chair. Long, slow, deep inhale. And 
long, slow exhale. If you're hinged at the waist and your hands are down, bring your hand, both hands up to your left thigh, pushing yourself up, and then flexing that knee back, bringing both knees together. Taking a couple of breaths here. Then extending that left out, left leg out straight, flexing your toes back towards you. And again, you can stay right here sitting up. If you want to bend at the waist with both hands on your right thigh, you can do that. You can bring your hands down to your shin or your knee or extend all the way down to your toes. Hinging at the waist. Long, slow, deep inhale. Long, slow exhale. With each exhale, you might be able to open up a little bit more space and come a little bit deeper into the pose. On your next exhale, putting both hands on your right thigh and then just pushing yourself up. Bending the left knee, bringing both feet and knees together and then sitting back in your chair. And then grabbing the back of the chair, if you can, with both hands. I'm just going to come forward a little bit more on the chair and then just leaning forward. Nice back stretch a little bit opposite pose than we just did. Opening up your heart, extending your lower back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. On the next exhale, releasing your hands, coming back to the center of the chair. Having both of your feet on the floor. Now we're coming into our little Shavasana. And we have one more pose, I'm sorry. Almost one of my favorite poses. It's cobbler's pose. So you can either have your feet right on the floor with the soles of your feet together, or you can have them up on a block either sideways or with block on the end. If you feel real strong and you have enough room on your chair, you could bring your feet up into the chair, but that's a pretty extreme pose. I would suggest you just leave your feet either on the floor or on the block. And you just have the soles of your feet together. Hands can be right on your thighs. Or you can hinge at the waist, walk your hands down to your feet, pressing with your elbows on your inner legs. You want to have more of a hip rotation. Long, slow, deep breath in. Long, slow, exhale out. You can even lower your head down. Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. Then always come back to yes. And on your next exhale, if you're ready, just slowly coming up. I'm doing your legs, bringing them to the floor. 
now we're ready for our final shavasana. So if you need a little something under your feet to maybe relax your legs a little bit more and then sit back into the chair. You can have your hands up, palms up, palms down on your thighs, or just gently fold it on your lap. Just slowing your breath down. If you feel comfortable, you can flutter your eyes closed. Or if you prefer to keep your eyes open, just soften your gaze. Maybe looking something in the room, focusing on that. We'll take some breaths together before we end our practice. So first we're just going to open our mouth and just exhale everything out. Go. And then take a long, slow, deep inhale in through your nose. Softening the space between your eyebrows, softening your eyes, your lips, your throat, your shoulders, your heart, your chest, your stomach, your hips, your thighs, your knees, your calves. And opening your mouth wide and letting everything go. Another deep inhale through your nose. Opening up all the space that you created in your body today. Just scanning your body, feeling for any tension. Softening it with your breath. And then opening your mouth wide and letting everything go. One last breath together, breathing in deepest breath of our class. In through the nose. Your mouth throat, your heart, your lungs, your chest, your stomach, your hips, your thighs, your knees, your shins, your ankles, and your toes. Holding it slightly and then opening your mouth wide and letting everything go. Softening your breath, coming back to your natural breath. Long, slow, deep breaths. When you're ready, just fluttering your eyes open. Releasing your hands down at your sides. And I hope you enjoyed your chair class today. And as we always do at the end of our classes, we do our namaste. So you can bring your hands to heart center. And I honor the place in you where the universe resides. I honor the place in you of truth, of light, of peace, of love. I honor the place in you that if you are in that place and I am in that place too, we are one. And together we say, Namaste. Thank you guys. I hope that was a good class for you. And we hope to see you next week. And stay safe and stay healthy. 
and we'll be talking soon.